Hello dear students. Today we are going to do an activity about parts of circle. These are the parts we are going to see. Center of the circle, circumference, radius, chord, diameter, arc, sector, segment, tangent and secant. To do this activity, we need 10 to 15 color papers, three uh, like this uh, broomsticks or toothpicks can be taken. So I took this length, we will be breaking these, then uh, glue or fevicol, then leaf stack, petiole, two to three numbers, a bangle, scissors, four different types of cereals or grains in different colors then a compass with pencil sketch pens we all know how to draw a circle using a compass with pencil i drew a circle here first let's see what is a circle definition of a circle a circle is the set of all points that is if I keep points here very close like this is it fully a circle is the set of all points in the plane that are equidistant from the specific point so usually how do we draw the circle we keep a point on the page then the pointer of the compass the pointer this one no the pointer of the compass to be kept on this point then we draw a circle is it? point is called center of the circle i used a small mustard i stuck here this fixed point the specific point is called center of this circle next part we are going to see circumference circumference of the circle this part is called circumference see i used bangle just to take a bangle and uh, apply glue and stick on the paper so just only the bangle you know this part this is circumference of the circle another name of the circumference boundary we can say boundary of the circle or perimeter this can be represented by three names circumference or boundary or perimeter definition of circumference is length of the boundary of a circle length of the circle shortly we can say length of a circle is called circumference of the circle okay we do a circle here and the next part which i say radius of the circle see i just i'll show you i'm using broomstick here like this we can stick radius is a line segment that is the distance from the center to any point on the boundary this is a radius even we can draw like this is it a radius radius sorry radius equidistant is it see anywhere anywhere that is from the center to the boundary any point on the boundary so now using glue we can stick let's use let's apply glue on the stick then let's stick on that now see this uh, stick stuck here so this is radius radius of the circle the next part we are going to see chord the next one chord 
chord of the circle chord is a line segment so let me make a line segment line segment using roll stick chord is a line segment whose end points end point starting point i mean two points whose end points are on circle that's all so like this we can stick or even correctly the end point end point should meet on the boundary like this yeah like this also we can make so let's apply glue on this then let's stick the next part diameter diameter is a chord so line segment diameter also a line segment radius is a line segment chord is a line segment diameter also a line segment so let me use the broomstick a chord which passes through the center a chord is a line segment so a chord should pass through the center that is called diameter this is the center center of the circle so diameter is a chord it should pass through the center so we can make the diameter like this or like this anyhow it should pass through center that's all diameter is a chord should pass through the center like this is it we can make but it has to touch the tip center so let's apply glue and let's stick this one the next part we are going to see arc arc of the circle arc is the part of circumference this is called a circumference is it it's a part arc is a part of circle so to make the arc I am going to use the leaf star petiole because it will be flexible. It is flexible that is why I am using this. Any uh, From the leaf uh, you can take the stalk. So using see like this it is flexible no using glue let us stick fevicol it will be suitable. We need to stick like this. Actually, we should use Fevicol. Now, I am trying with the uh, glue, but it is not sticking immediately. So, it needs time, is it? It is to be dried. See, now I will show you the dried one. See. Now, we are going to see sector of the circle. Sector. S-E-C-T-O-R. Sector of the circle. Sector is a region. Okay, so now let me take a broomstick because sector is a region bounded by a pair of radii and a interceptor arc and an interceptor arc. So let's see first. Let me make two radii. equal uh, a pair of radii is it so equal length i took this region bounded enclosed by two radius it is two radii and intercepted arc this is arc is it part of the uh, circumference is an arc so this is called a sector so now let me stick this first See, I stuck the sticks as radius region enclosed by two radius and an intercepted arc, this arc. So, here two sectors you can see. One is minor sector, this region, this part, minor sector and this is major sector. To show the difference, let's use cereals here. I'm gonna to use this uh, green gram here broken gram and this is old gram old green gram so 
let's apply first glue first let me finish here this is minor sector for major sector let me use dark that is whole green gram This green gram is a minor sector and this old green gram is called major sector. See even major sector also a region, this region, major sector, region bounded by a pair of radii, two radius and intercepted arc, this long arc, long arc, one long arc and two radius. So this region is a major sector and this region is a minor sector. We are going to see segment. So let me draw a circle. Okay. Then in segment is a region bounded by a chord. This region. Okay. Is a region bounded by that is enclosed by enclosed by a cord and intercepted arc a cord and an arc a cord and an arc a region enclosed by a cord and an arc is called segment so here also we have two segments one is minor segment this area minor segment and this area this region major segment so to show the difference again we are going to use two different types of uh, see one is mustard seed and uh, white till I took so let me stick that first let me okay I stuck a cord so now we are going to uh, differentiate the major segment and minor segment by using cells or grains different uh, colors So now this is minor segment and this is major segment. Next part tangent of the circle. See this is a tangent. Tangent is a line which meets the circle at only one point. And from this point of intersection to the center if you draw the line from the center to the point of intersection here we will get perpendicular on this tangent so tangent is a line it's a line which meets the circle at only one point now let's see second of the circle so let's draw a circle Okay. It is a line which meets the circle at two points. Let me show you. Let me stick and show you. See now secant. Secant is a line which meets the circle at two points. Here one point and here another point. So now the first part center of the circle used mustard seed the specific point 
in the circle the fixed point in the circle inside the circle is called the center from this point to any point on the boundary no equidistant from this point to the boundary equidistant then the next part circumference the circumference uh, represented by a bangle that is length of a circle is called a circumference or boundary or perimeter the next part radius radius is a line segment that is the distance from the center to any point on the boundary so we can make infinite radius how many radius can be drawn many infinite radius can be drawn okay then chord whose end points lie on the circle so we can make many chords differently like this see this is one more chord and another chord circle then diameter diameter is a chord diameter is a chord but it passes through the center it passes through the center diameter divides the circle into two equal parts see diameter dividing the circle equally so each part we get as semicircle half circle and moreover this is the longest chord in the circle and even we can make many diameters like this like this we can make many diameters then arc arc is a part of the circumference arc is a part of circumference we can see this is the smallest arc and uh, this one longest arc one more arc like that is a arc is a part of the circumference then sector sector a region area region bounded by enclosed by two radius see two radius and an arc sector is a region that is area region enclosed by two radii and an arc so this is minor sector this region this region is a minor sector and this region is the major sector and next one segment segment also an area that is a region bounded by a chord and an arc segment that is region bounded by a chord and an arc that is intercepted we say if you take this region so this chord and this arc we will take so this is minor segment and this is major segment then tangent tangent a line see a line which meets let me just not it tried a line which meets the circle at only one point a line which meets the circle at only one point the point of intersection uh, from the radius i mean sorry from the center to this point of intersection if you draw a line that is which is radius and on this tangent it makes perpendicular the point of intersection only make perpendicular not others that's why tangent is a line which meets the circle at only one point then secant secant is a line which meets the circle at two points here one point here one point so these are the parts of circle